This is Lazarus, my little helper. He helps me trip over things around here. Welcome to lesson number four, Soft Saw Electrical School. The first three lessons covered what is electricity, number two is how is power measured, and number three, watts, voltage, and amperage. That's what's, what is voltage and amperage, and that's exactly what voltage and amperage is. Voltage multiplied by amperage is watts. So let's forget about that. Let's move on to lesson number four. All right, lesson number four. What is resistance? Very often it's heat. A lot of times it's manifested as heat. Whether it's coming off heating elements or a motor that's being used to drive air, it doesn't matter, but that's a very big byproduct of electrical energy. Resistance is also known as ohms, O-H-M-S. Resistance, also known as ohms, can be related in terms of heat or the reduction of electron flow. Resistance can be caused by too small of a conductor, too much amperage in a conductor, or it can be caused on purpose by resistors. We have this formula here. It's a description of a relationship between temperature and conductivity. Let's say you have 60 amp number six wire and you jumper that for some reason with a piece of number 14 wire rated at 15 amps. Well, that wire is going to get red hot. As it gets hot, the resistance goes up. As the resistance goes up, the temperature goes up. As a result, the conductivity goes down. When the conductivity goes down, the resistance again goes up, and so does the temperature, and again, the conductivity goes down. It's a cycle. It doesn't last very long when wire is overloaded, but it's a, a cycle that ultimately brings you to catastrophic failure, which means this wire is going to burn right in half. So there's a total of three basic formulas on ohms or resistance. I'm only going to give you two. I'm going to touch very briefly on this one, but the second one I give you is a little more important. Ohms is equal to resistance. One of the formulas is resistance is equal to volts divided by amps. Volts divided by amps. So if you have a hot tub that takes 240 volts and 35 amps, you divide that 240 by 35, you have 6.85 ohms of resistance. That's formula one. Formula two is more important and you'll see why in a minute. This is the second formula which is so important. This is when power usage is unknown. This is when you do not know what your wattage is or your amperage is. You know what your resistance is, you know what your voltage is. So by tweaking the formula around a little bit, it's almost the same formula, a little bit different. But basically, amps is equal to volts divided by ohms. So let's say you have a jacuzzi. I like using that as an example. 240 volts, and you have 7 ohms. Okay, you divide 240 by 7. That's E energy which is voltage, divided by R, resistance, which is ohms, gives you 34.2 amps, I, okay? Going back to a formula you learned in lesson two, you, you'll know that voltage times amps gives you wattage. This is real-time usage. So if you go back to lesson two, which is, how to quantify electricity, we quantify it in wattage. So we've got, we now have two known factors. We know the voltage, and by using resistance, we've determined the amperage. We go back to wattage is equal to volts times amps. 
all right you multiply these two you get 8228 watts that is 8.2 kilowatts so going back to what we learned before to summarize this wattage is equal to voltage times amperage so we knew what the resistance and the voltage was through that we determined what the amperage is going back to the old formula in lesson number two p equals i times e we come up with 8228 watts which is 8.2 kilowatts that concludes lesson four out of four i hope this helped you understand electricity a little bit better and in lesson five we're going to really get back to basics on how to